have you ever heard a son actually grabbed his mom's ass not that he like this let me touch it not like this like this and not once what sort of abomination <laughs> what sort of abomination <laughs> Mine was the last, and I made it a bit different. Good morning, people. Good morning, my subscribers. How are you today? I hope your morning is going well. I hope you're good. I hope you're happy. And if there's any problem at all on this day, just know that there's a God above us all. He'll take care of everything. Have a positive mindset. It's still early in the morning. Things can always change during the day. So, it's another day of my life with you. I'll show you everything that I'll do today so that you can be able to share this day together. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe, like, and if you want a separate video on maybe the recipe, if you want a separate video on my workout that I'm going to do today, a completely separate video, just write in the comments below or follow me on my Instagram on Conscious Vlogs on instagram if you follow me there you can always dm me and ask me anything you need any direction anything you've seen in the video that maybe you might want to buy you can always talk to me there directly for a faster response meanwhile this day together i'll show you everything i do my recipes what else my workouts what else you'll have a get ready with me where we share some yummy juicy topics that we'll be talking about today to start off, I have some clean washed chicken that is a bit sliced, fresh chicken. It's broiler because it's normally soft and I'll first grate it in my machine. Um, if you need to buy it, just talk to me. If you need any details on the machine, just talk to me. I'll be able to answer you. That is how it's looking like. Just basically minced chicken. It looks like sausage. <laughs> it looks color pink. And the way it's in small bits, it looks like sausage. Or turkey meat. You know the way minced meat or minced chicken is expensive compared to a whole chicken. So what I normally do, I just buy the whole chicken. And then I normally use this machine to just grate my own chicken or beef when I want it. Beef is a bit more reasonable cost, but chicken is so expensive when you want it to be minced in the supermarket. So you can always buy this small machine. I don't think it's more than five. It doesn't even reach 5,000 in pricing. It's less than 5,000 shillings. All ready. So I'll take you to the next step. Time to marinate the chicken. I'll just move it closer so that you can dish the chicken. And then I'll put in my natural yogurt. I'm using the Ilara one. It's called plain yogurt, Ilara plain yogurt. Use the 500 milligram if you're using a full chicken. 500 ml, uh, grams, sorry. 500 grams of plain yogurt of Ilara. If you're using a full chicken, if you're just marinating. Though I'm just using my eyes, this spice, it's called fatty pilau masala. That much. This is how it comes like in the spice. A spoon. Echo. Just Royco Choosy Mix. A teaspoon, so half a teaspoon of salt. I'm normally very precious with salt. 
no it's a somali spice you know the somalis really uh, have nice spices it's a chicken spice also it's like reiko cube uh, i hope it won't be too much put chili that is the normal way of doing it but i can't put chili because my kids are going to be eating this or if put in some lemon juice the two full lemon and then I have some curry powder, the one that we used to use, Sibambili. I'm going to use for our sandwiches. Or red pepper in yours, if you like the taste. But now me, I'm considering my babies. Since you're old, I, ex I wanted to do fresh garlic. But I forgot to prepare it. Maybe I prepare it now and just add. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put this amount of, like three quarter of a mm -hmm. tablespoon of garlic. So there is my crushed garlic. I'm just adding it. And then I'll marinate this mixture for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I'll just set my alarm. I didn't add any oil, I need to marinate in my fridge. And then after the marination process, um, I'll come back with you. But before that, I have to cut my cucumbers that I'm going to use. So I'm placing it away to marinate for a while. Hour later. That I, I had added on for the onions is almost dried out. But if you are the one making this, please don't put oil after you put the one for marinating because it's the one that has made it to take long to be ready. So I'll just dice the cucumbers that you're going to be using um, for filling and. Uh, you can just dice them like this. I'll paper on them. And then I'll put it away. I'm just putting some salt in the cucumbers. Put a cup of oil, onions. Sugar. The onion should always be sweet. Let it cook for about um, six minutes in total, and then I just remove it. I put it away in a dish. Then for also the sandwich. So I'll call you back once. So welcome back. We are now going to be assembling the sandwich, and uh, we're going to use this bread. Because I love it. It's called super loaf bread. We're going to use our cucumbers. We're going to be using some tomatoes because they um, onions. They pi they're called pickled onions. The ones for burgers. I'm also going to be using mayo and uh, mustard and uh, ketchup. So follow along. Spicy chicken tikka meat. So I'm going to use this. Just a bit of it. This is our bread. Into the bread. After I place the chicken, I cover it. Okay. 
from American Garden. Some paint ketchup. Just a bit. And then one slice. I guess those are enough. And then I just take this part of the sandwich, I put it on like this. You can either have it like this. Cut across it. Very neatly. Then that's the sandwich. It is how it's looking. What do you think? It's that sandwich. It's so good, you know. So mine was the last but not least. And that's how it's looking. To our next session, which was the workout session. Now we are going to do a different workout from what I, uh, we've been doing all along. Um, if I think it's not uh, so intense, I'm going to take my gloves and box once again. But for now, what I have in store is a different video altogether. We're going to do it together so change into your workout clothes so we can start on it you know uh, nothing will change if you keep on sitting in that chair if you can't do it now maybe you are at work watching this kindly when you go back home just change and let's go along again but don't disconnect the video <laughs> because you'll affect my stats don't forget to like to subscribe and to watch all my videos as soon as i upload them Let's uh, help each other because today is me, tomorrow is you. The next time we start a YouTube video, maybe I would have grown. Or maybe you start something else and I can be used to advertise your business. So let's help each other so that we can grow together and uh, conquer all over, you know. We'll do it for a bit, then we'll come back to the next session. The next session will be, we'll be doing a Get Ready With Me. And uh, on the Get Ready With Me, We'll also be doing our makeup and doing a chit chat. I am restricted, fixed upon the web. I need to kick the habit that my mind is breathing in. Break out, I've got to see. Spent all my life holding all of it closely. I played it.
Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on minutes and that's enough for now so see you on the next session thank you for coming along with me so welcome back again to another get ready with me now on this one as you can see my face is very clean the first product that I put of my, on my face is a bandique uh, face primer as you know my channel, it's a, a channel that deals with relationships, family, food, cooking, exercising and loss and weight loss. Huh? So today morning when you wake when you woke up, there was this um, video online of a mother and a daughter. A mother was teaching the daughter how to talk. And um, when I saw it, there were some comments. There were some comments on um, the video. They were like, um, my mother will never allow me to do such a thing. Uh, about um, that lady being friends with her daughter. I said, my mother would always insist that we are not friends. She's my mother. She's here to make sure I'm not misled. So people are like shunning the mom for the fact that she was teaching her daughter how to talk. It's a grown-up daughter and a grown-up mom duo and I thought ah I shall discuss this like the African typical parenting kind of style the traditional one because nowadays things are becoming better and more modern and things are changing in the family structure like for example me I would prefer to teach my daughter how to talk than someone else to go and teach my daughter how to talk maybe a boy maybe a girl with the wrong intentions I would rather do it myself and guide her towards where to twerk, how to twerk, where necessary, in where to avoid twerking, and how to dance in different places and different kinds of dance. Dances that you can dance in different places. So I just wondered, like, um, why will people be talking negatively about this, about a mother teaching the ho her own daughter how to twerk? Because if you don't, in fact, my opinion is, if you don't teach your daughter how to talk, someone else will teach your daughter how to talk. Maybe it's the wrong kind of person. And talking is not a vice. Don't misquote me. Talking, in fact, is not a vice. It is just a dance. 
if at all a mom can or some, some people can comment that it's very it's a very bad thing for a mom to be seen doing such a thing with the daughter and all that i can't understand i can't understand at all because for me that is not bad manners but even if there was a vice that was to be done in collaboration with my kid either my son or my daughter i would rather be the person to initiate the vice than a stranger initiate, initiating the vice to my daughter let's say something like for example when my daughter gets to 18 years i know it's not a good thing i might also not even be in agreement with the dad my daughter's dad on this or even my daughter's family you know but at the same time would you rather your daughter is taught how to drink by a stranger or what to drink by a stranger or yourself for me i'd rather be the one to tell them mom or baby i'd like to be the first person to show you how to drink where to drink because you realize that nowadays people go out the youth not my age the the youth the people younger than my age set not people in the 30s to say my 20s 20s to 30s now the ones to 28 they are 20s to 28 or 18 to 28 they go out what are the things they do when they go out you see someone with a big bottle of alcohol just drowning it inside someone's throat such things clearly they are not the right way of drinking because someone can even collapse and die or something something can happen something wrong so i'd rather teach my daughter so that i instruct them if you have to drink alcohol you have to drink alcohol and mix it with water you can't lose control before people you are a girl men or boys can take advantage of you like you have to pinpoint all that before it happens to the stage where you find your daughter drinking maybe someone has taken advantage of your daughter or son because of the state that they are in they can't think like they drink even beyond their control you can tell even your daughter alcohol is not bad if it is taken in in um, the right quantities if you abuse alcohol that is taking too much alcohol at a given time without diluting it without uh, maybe drinking water with it it can affect you negatively you can be people can take advantage of you one two men are bad you just tell him the truth there are bad men out here i'm not saying all men are bad <laughs> sorry i'm not saying all men are bad like you just tell them the truth out here there are men and men can take advantage of you when you're in a certain in a certain certain state and then you explain to them you tell them the truth that this world some people are not nice people so even if you have you are with your friends drinking make sure they're the right kind of friends because you might have friend a friend who has been just waiting for an opportunity for example when you're drunk or you're out of your out of your normal state to take advantage so you have to tell all this to your kids so me i'd rather i the mom of that kid who has the most love for that kid i'd rather be the one to show them those things so that that matter of just uh, saying oh this is a bad thing this is a bad uh, show of motherhood this is not how parenting should be done and nini and people have different kinds of parenting so it's not it's and i should respect other people's opinion like an open and open minded person uh live, for example if i don't teach that child how to talk that child will come here talking i would rather be the one who has taught her how to talk and then after that even when she comes talking she'll be comfortable enough to tell me we were we were talking today at uh, maybe this and this place we had a competition rather than frown upon things like talking so that my daughter goes behind my back or my son and goes to those competitions talking competitions and such and then after that they come back home they hide it and then i and i hear that something happened over there that maybe could have been avoided if i had talked to them i hope you see my point like i'd rather be in the know of my kids life i'd rather put my kids 
close to me and understand my kids. I'd rather teach my kids that my mistakes, that mistakes are meant to be. I'd rather guide them towards their mistakes and if they can be avoided, help them to avoid them. And then I'd rather, if at all mistakes have happened, they own up to it, they learn from it, so that they don't make mistakes because they didn't have the information from an adult. I'd rather, I'd rather be the adult instructing my kids. I hope you're together and we understand each other. In the same, same breath, I also saw another video today I'll write all the products of this makeup session about uh, a celebrity. His name is Kodak Black. That video just made me to be shocked. <laughs> um, he was actually smoking, uh, I think he was smoking marijuana and it had gotten into his head. After his marijuana smoking, he started dancing with the mom. In the process of dancing with the mom, he actually did something that in Africa can be called a curse. Helping the mom's butt. Can you imagine a son in Africa? An African son. An African son groping the mom's bum. bum. Like not at he, like this, like this. And it was in public. So, such things, I think also if, maybe he has been told, yes, I cannot say that he hasn't been warned off, or he doesn't know that it's incorrect to do that. I can just blame the, he, that he was under the influence. Avoid, be avoided in a society, if at all we are free enough to talk to our kids, to talk to our sons. Tell your son that uh, there are things that can be done and there are things that can't be done in this society. Things like, you can't just touch your mom like that. And such. Like something like that should be just an abomination. Actually, it's an abomination in Kenya and Africa, I think in general. It is something that is just unheard of. So, it is better to just teach your kids. I know some kids are taught but still do crazy stuff. But just do your part. Rather than you put some things taboo, so taboo in the homes to be spoken about or to be discussed, such that your kids make mistakes. They end up making mistakes. You assume that, oh, they've been taught about this in sexual class, education class. While you as the parent, you've not sat down with your kid and tried and discussed some of the matters. If at all there are men here with sons watching me today, take the initiative to teach your son. Don't let your son go and be taught by his fellow cousins, maybe cousins, brothers. Don't let your son be taught by the brother. Because your perspective is the best opinion that that child can have in anything. Be it, uh, you know, they're told out there, there's a stage that we've all been through where you're told, ah, if you don't do this, you're not a man. If you're like this, you're not a woman enough. To rather just be the one to tell your kid, this doesn't prove that you're a man, this doesn't show that you're a young boy, or this doesn't show that you're a baby. So it's about time we Africans just embrace the fact that we need to talk to our kids, we need to talk to our sons from their parents. So I'd rather have uh, my son know that this can be done, this can't be done, than go make mistakes uh, like that and then just come back. Or I'd rather my daughter know uh, when you go somewhere, you can, you can talk, talking is not a problem, but when you go somewhere, you check who you're around before you start just dancing and talking. These things are liberated. You can even see in schools, like they, they are taught dance class. During our days, there was some dancing styles were taboo. Even some music, leave alone dancing styles. Some music, you couldn't hear it um, in front of your parents. Nowadays, songs come out, even in schools, they practice, they practice. 
when they practice when it's visiting day or parents day you find that the kids are presenting that music very comfortably because nowadays they're trying to teach our kids that it's not about that song it's about you we're expected to be heavy in a certain way maybe in different situations that uh, this is I'm using Huda, Huda Beauty. I'm mixing it with my Kat Von D foundation in, not in this color, in um, Deep Warm. I'm using it in Deep Warm. And the Huda that I use is in Cinnamon for 40G. It's better for us as a society to embrace that things are happening that are beyond our control, that our children are seeing those things happen and that we just need to teach them how to cope with it. We can't keep on closing our eyes and hiding under the stones that some things are happening. And that maybe there are predators even on the internet. There are some websites that if you go to and you check that information, you can start getting viruses in your computer. And there are things that if you do online, people can even blackmail you and such and such. Just let's talk to our kids, let's, let's teach them that out here there are things that they're expected to do and not do. And that if you do ABC, it's your will, deal with it. Nobody. Like, it's your life. It's not my life. Yes, I'm your mother, but if something happened to you, I will be sad. But at the end of the day, who will be hurt? Yourself try and teach our kids, our daughters, and let's be more open-minded, let's listen to our kids, let's uh, discuss things with our kids without judging, let's not judge our kids so harshly. Let's correct her. This story I had of a certain high-end school, a friend of mine used to teach there. They found a kid with um, alcohol. And a lot of money, the kid used to come to school with a lot of money. So anytime teachers will talk to that uh, that kid, the kid will, will tell them, will even tell them, I can pay you, you know, I have more money than what you're being paid here. It, to be correcting me and telling me maybe A, B, C, D. I hope you are together on that. It used to be very uh, had they were rich they were well off parents had good jobs they had a lot of money in fact the boy used to be dropped in school he had a very nice car anytime there was a problem the driver is the one who, who would come so they kept on doing this until one day it just came to their attention that hey this is becoming too much in fact the boy would carry expensive alcohol that's a primary school going kid after carrying the expensive alcohol, the, he would come to school with it and share with the rest. So it was causing a problem in the school. The kids are losing control because of this one kid. So anytime they would send for the parents, the, par the boy's parent wouldn't come. Instead, the driver is the one who would come. And they would say they are going to give back the message to their parents. So the parents were basically too busy to take care of the boy. So what the head teacher decided to do, um, she decided to get close to the boy. Uh, and even, because they had a psychologist in school, they even enrolled the boy to psychology. They even enrolled the boy to psychology classes so that um, they will find out where the problem is. Mm, through that uh, issue when they were dealing with it, they eventually found out that um, that boy would drink to just avoid being lonely because the parents were never there. Anytime he needed anything, he needed the parents. Instead, they would send him money. There were people who had good jobs, but now, unfortunately, there were jobs that required them to travel a lot. So they didn't have time for that boy. Actually, that boy just used to do those things to rebel, to, to get at the parents' attention. He actually used to do those things to just gain attention from the parents. But you see, 
we deal with things differently. For him, he knew any time there was a problem, that's when he would get to see his parents. It's a sad thing, but it's reality, and it's happening. So my fellow parents kindly just, um, if you're a mom, if the, if your husband is busy, or maybe it's a, a man that you have children with that you're not together, just make sure that he takes his role seriously because these kids end up being even alcoholics and all that because of a parent, not even because it's something that is was supposed to be in them. And then once you lose them, it's very hard to just get them back. I hope you understand. Like once they go astray, it's very hard to bring them back to the right to the right place to like make them correct and come back to being just good children. It will take quite a lot. Diversity. Someone was affected well, maybe in primary school, but that is something that can just follow them their whole lives, you know. So as long as you have children that you brought in this world, kindly just play your part. The way your parents played their parts and you became an upright human being that you are. Just play uh, our roles as parents so that we don't give our kids, or so that our kids don't do things because of what we are doing to them, because of the things that we are impacting on them. That's it, and then um, I'm still doing my makeup. I'll just use my pink eyeshadow. Out of my mind is just the fact that that boy was grouping the mom and then the mom was even pushing back when the mom was trying to push him back he co he kept on holding the mom like he didn't do it once he did it twice he touched the mom's butt twice How, but you know that's not africa it's in america such a thing happen in fact here in Africa even that boy will be beaten by men in that part he will be beaten up where is the where do you put a border between friendship and parenting like where is the, the line between uh, being a parent and being a friend to your kids I know I've, I've said that we need to be close to our kids we need to talk to our kids and all that but at the same time, we need to have also boundaries. Because this is also an issue of boundaries, I think. Even, they will call even elders to pray for you and slaughter a goat. <laughs> to, remove, <laughs> to remove whatever evilness <laughs> that has befallen you. <laughs> remove that. <laughs> I, I mean, to just get rid of that evilness. That is in you. That is making you look at your mom like that. Eh? That is making you think that you can do such a thing and sacrifice a goat. And men will, uh, old people will just chant prayers over you, either to curse you or to remove that, <laughs> or to remove that evilness from from inside you. <laughs> My daughter is laughing over here. <laughs> Uh, and then I came across another story again. Oh, yeah, three young children in, in like elementary school or primary school level were planning to go and start a fire and burn everyone in school. And that they were uh, wanted to do that. was because the, the rest of everyone in school were rude to them. They didn't talk kindly to them. So I was just shocked, like, what would also <laughs> drive young kids, small kids, towards making such a decision? Because what I know is, if my daughter or son has a problem, they should just come to me Uh, 
uh, lipstick from Smashbox, a Smashbox Christmas collection or something. And then uh, they, there are four of them. I have another one called uh, Model. This one is called Sangbang, the one I'm using today. The one I used last week, I don't think it's role model because it was, yeah, it was role model. Yeah, that is the name of the lipstick because I've heard some of you asking what lipsticks I'm using. They are from Smashbox Christmas Collection. They were on clearance during Christmas last year. Then there was also this story I read. <laughs> I read crazy stuff I know <laughs> about a father murdering his son because the son found him. The son found pictures of him taken in lingerie. The father was in lingerie in the photos. <laughs> And also uh, interesting. It's sad and funny. The sad part is that he killed that son. That's the crazy part. But the other part is funny, I swear. <laughs> so now I'll just go on and. Uh, in fact, the, the, the foundation has already dried because it's very, very much a bit more of the same things that I used. I'll put a bit more because it has completely dried. Uh, the concealer that I used under my eye, I realized that last time I didn't mention it. It's the Tarte Double Duty Beauty. It's the medium tan golden. That's so. When I see crazy stuff, I always think of my subscribers. Like, if I talk to my subscribers and tell them about this, they will just maybe laugh, but it's a, it's a sad and funny situation. Like, the son found the dad's pictures where he was wearing lingerie. Huh? All the dad decided to do is to kill the son, maybe to avoid him spreading the word, to hide it. I've gotten to that stage. If you were sincere with your kids, I'll just put on my MAC Prime and Prep, fix it. I realize it's not focusing. Like, why would you get children if you're into such crazy stuff? The thing to happen, was it really, really necessary? No. But the dad was sentenced to 48 years in prison. Yes, 48 years for doing that because that was just an avoidable mistake first and foremost he didn't have to pretend to be someone else to the son the right time and age he would just have sat his son down and talked to him like he didn't have to go to that he didn't have to go to that level i don't know why my camera is losing focus keeps on losing focus. I don't understand why. This kind of face. <laughs> faces. Ugly faces. Undoing their makeup. That were found planning to burn a school. <laughs> 16 year olds. Don't think that they were older at in high school. No, those are just babies. This was not even 15. The oldest of, on that group. So what is the world coming to? <laughs> is the world coming to? Is it a problem with communication? But nowadays you don't cheat, te teach. Not cheat. But that nowadays we don't teach our children to compromise. Or we don't teach our children to communicate. Is it a communication issue? Society? Or is it an issue that... Uh, is there any other issue so far? Put on my lashes and a very bit, little bit of powder and got broken. The 
faces are the faces that we do. And these brushes that I'm using, the black ones are from Sephora, but I bought them on AliExpress at Conscious Vlogs. And then um, if these videos are too long, you can always request that I do maybe a separate video when it comes to... when it comes to the workout part, maybe a full workout video. If that is what you need, you can always request for it. I can do it alone. If you need the cooking video alone, I can also choose to do it alone. Talk to me in the comments. If you think uh, there is anything better that, that, I could, that I could have done to make these stories better, these lashes are also from AliExpress. But if at all uh, anything happens and they don't deliver, be sure that they will revert your money back to your account. Um, it has improved a lot. AliExpress has improved a lot. The small, small products I use maybe for makeup, for like things like lashes, not skin. Skin, I, I order original products like Fenty and such. But for things like lashes, for things like, um, what else did I tell you? I was coming from AliExpress. For things like nails, I normally buy from AliExpress. My nails and my lashes, I buy from there. We are conscious army members. Is to just be patient with each other. Don't look at a person maybe acting crazy and judge them. Here we don't judge. This is a judgment-free zone. I don't encourage people to judge each other. We just maybe have opinions of what is going on, like an opinion on that Kodak Black issue. I've not said he's a bad person. I've not, but I, I know I know what I've said. I've said that I think what he did was crazy, and where I come from aka africa and kenya they will slaughter a goat the old men will sit down and slaughter a goat to cleanse you for touching your mom's bum like that he actually grabbed his mom's ass mom's ass not that he like this let me touch it. not like this like this and not once what sort of abomination? <laughs> what sort of abomination? <laughs> what sort of abomination is that? What sort of abomination is that? What what kind of, they will even cleanse him? Cleanse his spirit and the home. It would look like you're possessed. Where where I come from, just doing that. It's like you're a possessed person. You're a possessed individual. Because uh, such behavior is really frowned upon. But I know it is, it, maybe it's not something that uh, is normal behavior. Though he's had issues of depression and such. So I'm sure most people suspect that he was on drugs. That's what YouTube, the YouTube community is saying that he might have been high on drugs. But where I come from, even drugs don't make you do such things. <laughs> that is just unimaginable. I like, I like these colors. I know it's similar to what I did last time when I did a get ready with you. Where I come from, that one will require prayers. Even he will be cleansed. Even the clothes he's wearing will be burnt. Like that is an abomination. Here in Africa, in Kenya. An abomination. Even in Nigeria, I think they will just call the, the witch doctor. <laughs> the Baba. The Baba would come and pray for you. I had zoomed you in in order to see everything at a close range. If at all you're someone who wants to learn about makeup, 
you can maybe get one or two things. But uh, one of the things that I realized, if you want your makeup to stay on your face, or if you want your makeup to not lift on your face, you have to give your makeup time, especially your concealer, the under eye. Because there was a time I used to do my under eye, I would really cry. When I cry, makeup ladies know what I mean. My eyes will really leak and even damage my makeup. And that was because... of the fact that I was impatient, I used to do it too fast. If you do it too fast, you're gonna see, you're gonna see, it's gonna come off. Because uh, the concealer I'm using is a very good concealer. Like you're not expected, it's not expected to just come off. Ah, Jesus, my products are breaking. Jesus Christ. Why are my products breaking? Have I wronged someone? <laughs> About someone. My products are just breaking and breaking and breaking here. Like, what is wrong? Or is someone talking about me? <laughs> if it's about you, it better be because you're subscribing to my channel. Not because of any other reason. So that's the look for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for being with me this far. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Keep a positive mindset. And enjoy your evening or your day on the gold trying to protect your soul we are here